Today's Monday tournament, uh, Asian Open was on Saturday. Sun uh, Sunday we traveled a little bit, hung out in the morning, traveled. Uh, we're walking along the river here in Takayama City. We're gonna go head out to Shiga, but the uh, thing that I've been thinking about is just showing your appreciation and I was reminded of that when we were leaving our, our Japanese style inn. Um, you know, you're staying in these real personal hotels and uh, it's kind of an intimate feeling with the customer and the uh, people who are working. Uh, we were, as we were leaving, you know, the, the owner or like one of the main guys, he walked us out and um, you know said thank you said the thank yous and and then after you know he walked us all the way out to the front entrance and um, he basically like said oh check out the koi you see it anyways he uh, he he basically um, you know, he walked out with us, and in Japanese culture, like you show your appreciation, or like you show, you don't leave their sight until the person goes out of sight. So he stayed at the front entrance, and like right before we turned around the corner, I said, like, I think I told Marshall, like, hey, look back. You know, we like we just kind of looked back, and I was, cause I was thinking, oh, I wonder if he's gonna, he's gonna do that. So we looked back, and he was still there, and he just waved. Um, He's a busy guy, you know, there's people coming in and out of that place, uh, but he took another, I'd say 15 seconds before we got around the corner to show that like we were valuable to him, our stay was valuable, and that, uh, um, you know, like he was sending us off basically uh, to, to go on with the rest of our trip. And I think appreciation like having an attitude of gratitude is something that goes really far in training um, you know as a, as a grappling somebody from a grappling culture uh, but any any even any individual sport it requires more than one person it requires a team of people it requires coaches uh, it requires family support there's a lot of things that you need to appreciate that you should appreciate and you need to be thankful for it's important to be thankful for um, and I think uh, you know I think that carries over or it starts maybe I don't know where it starts but um, you know showing your appreciation on the mat showing your appreciation to your peers your training partners your coaches is just as important as showing appreciation off the mat you know to your co-workers your family your friends and, and you know doing small things like you know waiting till they go walk around the corner uh, to say goodbye or um, you know making somebody feel comfortable uh, something that I talk about a lot is when somebody new steps on the mat or somebody that you're not familiar steps on the mat introduce yourself uh, be the first one to say hello and and greet them because it's it's not it's not a comfortable feeling for somebody to like feel alone or not welcome in a new place. And so you know, the big thing, you know, for, for me as an instructor to pass on to my students is, you know, getting people to think about helping people feel comfortable and appreciated and, and showing that, you know, showing people that sense of appreciation for coming to train, uh, to even start training or to visit your dojo. I think that's an important uh, important part of martial arts. I also think it's an important part of just being a, a good person. Um, so you know, show your appreciation, show your your gratitude, have an attitude of gratitude, and, and make that gratitude uh, show not just with your words and saying thank you, but with your actions. You know, a lot of times I think we we find ourselves giving lip service because it's the right thing to say. But when we actually look at our actions, it's not, it's not following, you know, the, the thank yous, the sorries. Um, but, uh, but if we can match our words with our actions, you know, then you're going to really convey to that person how it is that you truly feel. 
and that your words, you know, when your words match your actions, that person is going to really take take that for uh, for what it is, and and um, I think they're going to respect you back. I think they're going to um, appreciate. Though they will have in, in turn an appreciation. Oh, this person's really sorry. Wow, this person's really thankful. Um, so think about how you can show your appreciation whether you're successful in a tournament or not give your your, your peers give your teammates uh, a thank you show your appreciation uh, not just with your words but with your actions and uh, you know share that share that with everybody um, it's it's not a difficult thing to do if you make it a, a part of your routine it's just but it takes another 10 or 15 seconds from a business standpoint, uh, for the guy to like come out, like Marshall and I are probably never gonna visit that place unless you know something happens. But uh, each experience, each encounter is precious, right? And so showing that appreciation, like I feel so welcomed. I feel so like connected to that place. Um, like I, I already, I already want to start planning a trip to come back, just to go there, you know, um, just because it was, you know, to look back and for him to wave and smile, and then, you know, as we turned the corner, he bowed once again, and uh, it almost like brought a tear to my eye just to see, to see that, to experience that. Uh, I felt like as a customer, I was like welcomed and appreciated, and you know, you don't, you don't really get that. Um, very often you don't get that feeling um, but uh, yeah I think I think it's definitely an important part of of training it's an important part of, uh, of being a, a tough competitor is like giving thanks to your coaches giving thanks giving appreciation to your training partners to your family because it takes a lot of people uh, to support uh, a competitor or just a, a jiu-jitsu you know even if you just train jujitsu, right? You're you're away from your family for two, three, four, five hours a week, and you know, being thankful that they support you doing that. Um, there's there's you know your friends being thankful that your friends support you. Maybe they come and watch your tournament, or they talk to you about jujitsu. And uh, I mean, when they don't, you know, they wouldn't even care about jujitsu. But those are things that we can be thankful for, and we can have an attitude of gratitude for. Uh, let's so let's have that let's have that attitude of gratitude let's show our appreciation not just with our words uh, but with our actions I'll see you guys on the mat